Hello again, it's Bill Dendel, the Trad Jazz Camp Director for Tea Garden Jazz Camp, and we're looking at ways to begin improvising. Simple things that can get you started. We've so far looked at using the melody, varying the melody, changing the order of the notes. We've looked at using chord tones, the one, three, and five notes of the scale of the name of the chord. And we've looked at using the lower neighbors, a half step below and then back up, or starting a half step below, or starting on the note, going down a half step, back up. And now I want to look at the concept of repeated phrases. Melodies are made up of phrases that repeat. Uh, the quickest example is the song we've been working with when the saints go marching in. Now we repeat it again. Exact same thing, and then a third time. Then it changes to something else. So what we want to do is when we're making up our new melody, using the notes of the melody or the chord tones, incorporating lower neighbors, we want to do things that we can repeat. Uh, We'll do this. Let's get the band started again. These people have been sitting around far too long. Let's put them to work. I'll play the melody first. So that's playing a repeated phrase. I played first. I repeated it. And did it again. And you should think of a phrase, a, a new piece of melody, a little piece of melody that's your own thought. Repeat it. Okay, now let's do this with banjo accompaniment. I'll play the melody the first time, and then you play a phrase using either the chord tones or the melody notes, incorporating lower neighbors. Think of one, and then apply it, and then repeat it. Okay, here we go. I'll count off. One, two, three, four, one.
does it for today. We've got now to recap all of this. The notes in the melody, you can always use them, put them in a different order, uh, or change the rhythm of what you're playing with the melody. Use the chord tones, the one, three, and five of the scale of the name of the chord. The lower neighbors, you can move from the chord tone down a half step, back up. You can start a half step below the chord tone or the melody note and go up to it. And remember to repeat yourself. Play a phrase and then play it again. All right, so now we're up to the next topic, which is going to be how to use rhythm. You can make interesting solos primarily focused on rhythm. You don't have to worry too much about changing the notes a lot. Rhythm is powerful, and we'll look at that next time. Thank you. Thank you.